Hi Pitmasters, welcome to another episode. Today we have another meat battle. Black Angus versus Wagyu. And as always, the first thing that we're going to do is fire up our barbecue. Now before we put these beautiful cuts of beef on the grill, let's first take a closer look. You can clearly see that the marbling on the Wagyu beef is much stronger than the marbling on the Black Angus. The Black Angus picanha has a nutty smell, but you can clearly smell also the freshness of the grass-fed Black Angus. Yeah, the Wagyu is a much darker smell. Also very nutty and very round. Both of these cuts have been aged for 21 days. The Wagyu does feel a little less tender than a Black Angus. Price difference between these cuts is 20 euros. We're gonna put these on the grill and when they're done, we're gonna find out which tastes better. Before we put these pecanias on the grill, I'm just gonna carve the fat cap slightly. This will help to render down the fat and hold on to the salt, which in the end will give us a crispy result. We'll sprinkle on a heavy dose of salt and the salt will crispen up the fat as it's roasting. We'll put the picanhas on the grill over indirect heat. We're roasting these picanhas at 200 degrees Celsius just to make sure we get a nice crispy outside. Of course we need a little something to go with these picanhas. I'm making a chimichurri sauce and like a pepper sauce. For our chimichurri, we're going to use four cloves of garlic, one spring onion, a handful of fresh parsley, three twigs of oregano, 100 milliliters of olive oil, and 50 milliliters of red wine vinegar. Two pinches of salt, and some fresh crushed black pepper. Let's do a quick taste test. And <laughs> that's a good chimichurri. For our second sauce, we're also gonna need four cloves of garlic, one spring onion, handful of fresh parsley, half a hand of fresh thyme, two leaves of sage, two sun-dried red peppers, two sun-dried tomatoes, and five pickled jalapeno slices. 100 milliliters of olive oil and 50 milliliters of red wine vinegar and juice of half a lemon. Two big pinches of salt, fresh ground black pepper. Mix that up. Of course, you gotta try, right? Wow, it's a little bit smoother than the chimichurri sauce and it's nice and creamy, soft, but also full with flavor. It's going to taste great with our picanha. We're getting a lot of direct heat on one side of the picanha, so we'll want to turn them around. We're already getting a beautiful crispy outside on our fat cap, but they just need a little bit longer on our grill. Our picanhas have been on the grill for around an hour. Let's take a look. Wow, beautiful. They got a nice bit of color. Let's quickly measure the temperature. They're almost done, so we're taking them off the grill, let them rest, and then they'll come up to their final temperature. Our picanhas have been resting for long enough. Time to slice into them. We're slicing into them against the grain. Look at how juicy this is. You see that? If I move my fingers over it, you can see the amount of juices that is in a thin slice like this. We also got a bit of smoke room because we roasted it at a high temperature. 
we have a crispy top of fat. <laughs> this is gonna taste amazing. Now let's slice into the wagyu. Juices are flowing. This is crazy. Look at the dripping. The amount of juices running out of the wagyu. So it's nice and juicy and again crispy on top. So basically they are both juicy. The only way to find out is just to taste them, right? First I'm gonna try the wagyu. Mm. One big chunk of flavor, super juicy and super tender. Crispy fat cap with a little bit of salt, absolutely perfect. Now let's try the Black Angus. Mm. Definitely again. Juicy, salty, crispy fat. Mm. Tastes amazing. If I taste them, they almost taste the same. So the big question is, why would I choose the Wagyu over the Black Angus? Well, look at the texture of the Wagyu meat. You see this? I'm just spreading my fingers and it almost falls apart. Now let's do the same with the Black Angus. You see, I'm spreading it and I'm, now I'm even pulling it. There's a difference there. It's much less tender. And now let's try out the sauces that we made, right? Because they could be the star here. We'll do one with the traditional chimichurri. Oh. Now we take the other part of the slice and go through our other sauce. There we go. Well, for the sauces it's an easy decision. They both are great, we don't need to choose. If you make me choose between these cuts, I would go for the Wagyu. In the end, it's the better cut. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, leave me a big thumbs up, a comment down below and hey, if you want, you can support us on Patreon. The link is down below in the video description. See you guys next time. Until then, it's my click.